fasten your gi, tie your belt. Karate is coming to the world's biggest stage, where legends are born. Welcome back to the All Valley Karate Tournament. The soul of the valley is on the line. Have the man boys still doing in the whole mortal enemy karate dojo battling for the soul of the valley thing? Bonsai! I'm the Cobra Kai Kid, and Netflix has released a Cobra Kai Season 4 All Valley Tournament promo slash teaser slash trailer, and it is epic! So we're going to break it all down in this video, and we're also going to talk about the release date that Netflix has announced for Season 4. But first, let's check out my live reaction to the trailer when it first dropped. So this is how I reacted when I first saw it. Bye. Fasten your gi, tie your belt. Karate is coming to the world's biggest stage, where legends are born. Welcome back to the <laughs> All Valley Karate Tournament. No! What? What? Stop it! The soul of the valley is on the line. Have the man boys still doing on the whole mortal enemy karate dojo battling for the soul of the valley thing? Are you like, <sighs> are you kidding me? As you can tell, I was only a little bit excited. No, I'm just kidding. Like this is the most epic thing I've ever seen in my life. I was going nuts. I was going crazy watching it for the first time. What a great experience. Thank you to all of you who joined the live with me. So now, before we get into the season four footage and the actual video, let's talk about this release date. Cobra Kai season four has been confirmed to come to Netflix this December. So no more guessing about the months, no more guessing on Hayden's tweets about Honeycrisp season. We have our official date, Cobra Kai season four, this December. Now, a lot of fans have theories that season four might come out on December 19th, as that was the date of the All Valley Tournament in the Karate Kid. And that would be a pretty cool callback. It would be a pretty cool Easter egg for fans to release season four on the 19th. But we don't know for sure when they're gonna to do it we know that netflix is all about marketing and promotion so even though december 19th might be a cool date for fans of the show that might not be what they're leaning towards in terms of marketing and all that so we'll have to wait and see what they do i definitely think it'll come out in the later half of december so the 19th and onwards i don't think it'll come out early december because towards the end of the month is the holidays people are home people are looking for shows to watch and with COVID Cobra Kai, people are going to want to check out Cobra Kai. So with everybody home for the holidays, it would just be the perfect time to release. So now without further ado, let's get into the actual trailer. Let's get into the footage and break it all down. So we start off with Samantha LaRusso in her Miyagi-Do Gi. She's walking down this corridor. This There's like these walls on the side. I don't really know where they are. I think it's just some sort of cool background that they just filmed for the promotion. These beginning clips of the cast getting ready, um, putting on their gis and doing all these moves isn't going to actually be in the show. That's what I'm getting from this. I think that's pretty obvious. I think this is just to promote for this specific trailer. But I wonder like what the choice for background was. Like why are they in this specific place with those walls? I don't know. But it does look epic. The lighting is really cool. Then you have what looks to be Samantha tying her gi with her black belt. And then we cut to a shot of Daniel meditating, doing his Miyagi-Do thing. You don't see his face, but you definitely know that's Daniel. And then you have Johnny walking down the corridor. So epic. He's ready to fight. And then it cuts to a shot of Samantha's hands. You know it's Samantha because of the color of her fingernails. Then we get a shot of Dimitri and his Miyagi Dogi doing a cool punch. And then we cut to Johnny and Daniel from the original Karate Kid, the All Valley Tournament. Daniel about to do the crane kick on Johnny. And then we see this ESPN looking cool All Valley Karate Championship promotion thing. It looks like something out of ESPN. And I think that this is actually in the show. I actually think that we're going to be seeing this clip in the show because I think there's going to be promotion for the All Valley Tournament that we're going to see in terms of like a trailer. It'll kind of look like a trailer or a teaser, so, similar to what we're getting now, but it'll actually be like in the show promoting the actual tournament for the people of the valley. 
kind of like Daniel's Miyagi-Do commercial or Johnny's Cobra Kai commercial or even the news report that we got in the beginning of season three episode one aftermath I think there will be some sort of news thing or some sort of advertisement that's promoting the all valley tournament in the form of an epic video and I think that's when we're gonna be seeing this footage then we see my boy Sholo, aka Miguel Diaz. You see his hair is really long, so he's rocking the long hair. And he's wearing a black gi, which is very interesting because later on in the trailer and throughout the trailer, you'll see Johnny, Miguel, and Hawk are all wearing black gis. So they're not wearing the same gis as the Miyagi-Do people. And even though Daniel and Johnny are training together, this might suggest that there may be something that happens where they split up and Daniel is training his Miyagi-Do kids for the tournament while Johnny trains his kids, including Miguel and Hawk for the All Valley tournament. So for some reason, they're not gonna be fighting together, but we'll just have to wait and see. We know that they're gonna be training together throughout season four as that's how season three ended. And also we're gonna see some clips later on of them training together. Then we cut to a shot of Dimitri doing a cool kick. He's definitely ready for battle. And then we cut to Hawk, who doesn't have a shirt on in typical Hawk fashion, just like he took off his shirt at the All Valley Tournament in Cobra Kai Season 1. I could see him doing some sort of similar thing in Season 4 at the All Valley Tournament, and he does a jump kick as well. And then we cut to Robbie, who is probably the most badass, cool person from this whole trailer, because first off, we're seeing him in the Cobra Kai Gi, which is a very unusual sight. We're not used to seeing him in a Cobra Kai Gi, but now we are, and he looks pissed. This dude has had everything taken away from him. His father doesn't even care about him. A person who he looked up to as a father figure betrayed him. His girlfriend cheated on him, and then he went to jail, and then when he came out of jail, he found that his girlfriend was still cheating on him. He's finally got rid of that Lord Farquhar haircut for sure, and now he's rocking the short hair, and he's looking pissed, and you see him doing these punches, and he looks angry, and it looks like he's going to be taking out all his anger for the people who have wronged him in this All Valley tournament, which is going to be really exciting to see, because Robbie being angry is definitely very entertaining to watch, and we know Robbie is an amazing fighter, so for him to be an amazing fighter with the Miyagi-Do skills, it'll be very interesting interesting to see how he transitions to the Cobra Kai skills, which are more about striking first and striking hard. That will probably make him an even more powerful fighter, which is going to be so epic and so intense. Then we see a shot of Miguel doing some punches. He looks pissed as well, and he is definitely out for blood. It's going to be really cool to see the rematch between him and Robbie. I definitely think we're going to be getting that. I mean, we have to. That was the whole buildup from seasons one, two, and three. So they have to pay it back in season four. And Miguel and Robbie made the All Valley Tournament finals in season one. And I really believe that Robbie needs his redemption. He needs his his second chance to fight against Miguel again and prove that this time around he's out for blood so we have to see a rematch between them and I do think we're going to be getting that in the finals now I believe that if either Miguel or Robbie is not in the finals it's because of some sort of injury Maybe Miguel makes it to the semifinals and Cobra Kai intentionally injures him so he won't be able to fight in the finals. This would be the only thing that would make sense for as to why Miguel wouldn't be in the finals or vice versa with Robbie. Even though I don't think anybody would intentionally be injuring Robbie, I think it would be more towards Miguel because of the injuries he's already faced. And I'm looking at this from a storytelling perspective. It just wouldn't make sense if Miguel and Robbie are too two main characters of the show, even if other fighters are better than them, which they really aren't, I believe those are the two best fighters in this competition, in this tournament, it just wouldn't make sense in a storytelling perspective for them to not make the finals and fighting each other. Because then you have our two main characters of the show who are just sitting on the sidelines and who are completely useless pretty much. Then we get a shot of Samantha LaRusso, the daughter of the Karate Kid, Daniel, who's doing some epic kicks. Then it cuts to her doing some punches. This looks a lot like the montage we got from Season 2, Episode 9, Pulpo. It's just giving me a lot of those vibes of those training montage sort of vibes. And it's literally the same camera angle, the same fighting position pretty much. 
Then we have a close-up of Johnny doing some punches at the camera, and he looks badass. Now, I'm sorry, Johnny, but I had to. I had a freeze frame on this clip because it looks pretty funny, but um, I, I love you, Johnny. I love you. Then we get a shot of Daniel doing his Miyagi-Do Kata. He's ready for the tournament as well. Then we have this terrifying clip of Kreese, a close-up of his face, just staring into the camera and smiling with that evil grin. And this clip is pretty terrifying. Martin Cove is a brilliant actor and a really nice guy in real life, but when he's in character, when he's playing John Kreese, he definitely looks like a maniac, like he is out for blood, and you can tell he is. So you have kids like Dimitri and Sam who are just trying to stand up for themselves and who are just trying to fight and show that they can't be Bullied. But then you have guys like Kreese, who's literally trying to kill other people and make them bleed and make them suffer. And that pretty much matches the description of Terry Silver 2, which adds to the fact that Cobra Kai is going to be a dojo of freaking crazy people who are going to be doing crazy things. And uh, that's pretty much the description of this season, I would probably say is crazy. Then we cut to a close-up of Tori looking into the camera, and she's clenching her fist. She's wearing the Cobra Kai gi, and she looks pissed. Samantha LaRusso, I would watch out if I were you. Then we have Miguel Diaz. His hair is looking longer now for some reason. I don't know if that was just the other camera angle, but he is screaming. He is ready for battle. Then we cut to Robbie, and we see a whole mid shot of him in the Cobra Kai gi. We can see the logo on the left side of his chest, and it says Robbie with the Cobra Kai fist on it, and he is stretching his neck. He's ready to cause some pain, and this reminds me a lot of Terry Silver from the season 4 promo teaser, because Terry Silver was doing a thing where he was stretching his neck, and now we have Robbie doing the same thing, and this is just an indicator that Robbie is really going into this tournament with a no mercy mentality and he is willing to strike first strike hard and defeat anyone who gets in his way then we have this funny shot of hawk who's just screaming into the camera he's looking right in our souls and just screaming at the top of his lungs hey jacob for this clip just go right in front of the camera and i just want you to pretend like you stubbed your toe on your bed or something and just react like that like like you just stubbed your toe really really bad and it really hurts and you're in like awful pain like maybe you got to see a doctor or something. So just react like that, like if that would happen. So ready, set, action. Ah! Yeah, so I think it was something like that. That's probably how they filmed that scene. Um, but yeah, we'll never know, I guess. Okay, so now here's where it gets real. We get our first official clips from the actual season four. All the clips I just mentioned were promo clips. This is the actual footage that will appear in the season. Now the first clip we have is from the All Valley Tournament. We can see that the arena is packed and we have Daryl with the microphone. Daryl is the announcer of the All Valley Tournament. He was the announcer back in season one and now he's back for season four. At first I thought they were going to go black mats with gold fists because of the season four logo that they've been promoting, but this works fine too. Now, if you're watching the season four trailer on YouTube, I would recommend slowing it down because the clips go by really fast. But don't worry, I'm going to freeze frame it so you guys can see exactly what's going on here. So the next clip we have is of Tori and Robbie at the Cobra Kai Dojo. Tori is on top of Robbie and holding a fist up, about to literally punch him in the face, it looks like. This just goes to show that even though Tori and Robbie are on the same team, their training is a little excessive and can still cause in a lot of bleeding. Then we have this top view of the Cobra Kai Dojo and we see three kids in the center. It looks like they're doing some sort of training. Now it's very hard to make out who these people are, but we definitely know that they're students in the Cobra Kai Dojo. Maybe the kids with the sweatshirts are trying out as Crease and Silver are looking for new recruits. And then on the side of the frame, we can see a couple kids lying on the ground. So really, this is a tough clip to identify. We don't really know what's going on here other than the fact that they're probably just doing some training exercise. Then we get what is my favorite shot of this whole teaser, and that is Daniel LaRusso and Miguel Diaz at the Miami backyard training together doing some kata and this is what I've been waiting to see since season one ever since season one when we met Miguel we knew that he was Daniel LaRusso 2.0 so we were just waiting
waiting for that Daniel and Miguel interaction, but we never really got it until season three, episode nine. And they both had so much in common. They had such a great conversation. And now look at them. The two of them are side by side training. Even though Johnny and Miguel are best buds, I think Miguel is going to have a really good relationship with Daniel because he can relate to Johnny in a lot of ways. But I also think he's going to be able to relate to Daniel in a lot of ways. And I think seeing them training together here is very evident of that. My prediction is that this scene is going to come from the second episode of season four because they're not wearing the same outfits that they were wearing at the end of season three, which we know will be the start of season four. So I definitely think this is early in the season and I'm going to be guessing season four, episode two. Then we get this beautiful shot of Daniel and Johnny fist bumping. They're on the same team. They're working together. And to see that they're friends now is epic. We definitely know with Daniel and Johnny, there's a lot of back and forth. They have a lot in common, but they also have a lot of differences. So I don't think their best friend relationship is going to go too too far i still think there's gonna be something that drives a wedge between them but ultimately they're working together this season they're in it together for now so um i don't want something to drive them apart but i feel like it will because it happens every season every time they bond there's something that goes down that makes them separate and i mean i feel like they have to do it so we'll just have to wait and see what happens then we get the shot of Johnny in some sort of abandoned warehouse and he's wearing headphones. He has his black bandana on and he looks like he's doing some training and he's breaking a brick. Very reminiscent to Cobra Kai season two, episode three, Valley Fest, when Johnny broke the bricks with fire. So this obviously looks like some sort of training. I believe that this is in the form of a montage because Johnny's listening to some music, probably some 80s rock. So I feel like this is going to be some sort of montage for Johnny. And I feel like this is going to be actually towards the end of the show, maybe in the finale. Then we have this absolutely insane shot of a girl jumping from the roof of one building to another building. Now, at first, I thought this was Samantha LaRusso because of the pink sweatshirt, the dark hair. It just looks like Sam. And it could be Sam, but it actually looks more like Devin, who is the new character that was announced to be in Cobra Kai Season 4, played by Una O'Brien. The only description we have about Devin's character is that she's a potential new karate student who is relentlessly competitive and short-tempered when provoked. And I mean, hey, that is the description of someone who would be most likely to jump from one roof of a building to another, so it's possible that this is Devin. Now, either she's doing some sort of crazy training, or maybe she's running from someone or to someone, we're not really sure. And that leads us to our last season four clip of this teaser, which is the back of Terry Silver's head. And you see him putting the ponytail into his silver hair. Now you still don't see his face, which I'm very happy about because I want to keep the surprise of what Terry Silver looks like for as long as we can. Now, I know that we're going to probably see his face in the Cobra Kai season four trailer. We already got a photo that showed his face. So it's not really too much of a surprise of what he looks like, but I think the less footage of him the better that way it gets us more excited when we watch the actual season and when we see him for the first time it's not like we're used to him already because we've seen him so many times in promotional videos or trailers we're just seeing him relatively new in the series for the first time but i really believe that not only are we going to see terry silver in the official trailer but we're going to hear him speak as well now, in this clip of him putting on his ponytail, I believe that this is taking place in either episode 9 or episode 10, whenever the All Valley Tournament is, and I believe this is him getting ready for the tournament. We could see him wearing a black sleeve. Now, we know Terry Silver just wears black in general, but I have a feeling he's wearing a karate gi, and this is him maybe looking in front of the mirror, getting ready for the All Valley Tournament, getting ready to inflict some pain, and even more pain, and suffering as he puts on his infamous ponytail. Then we cut to the brand new Cobra Kai Season 4 logo, which I am absolutely in love with. 
Then we cut to this clip from season three of Amanda talking to Daniel, Johnny, and Allie about the whole karate dojo war with the soul of the valley thing. And I love how they brought that clip back because it pretty much describes season four. And even in the description of the trailer, Netflix says, it's not just a tournament. It's the battle for the soul of the valley. Legends will be born in Cobra Kai season four. So it definitely seems as if the whole promotion of season four is the soul of the valley, the battle for the soul of the valley, because we know that this is do or die. If Johnny and Daniel win, then Cobra Kai's gotta go. But if Kreese and Silver win, then Daniel and Johnny's gotta go. So it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens, who wins, and what are the real stakes? What's actually gonna happen to the opposing team if they lose? Then we cut to only on Netflix coming this December. So Cobra Kai season four is coming this December. That's less than a year from season three. It's the same year, 2021. We're getting two seasons of Cobra Kai, which you don't usually get two seasons of one show in one year. Look at Stranger Things. There's like a new season every three years. So the fact that Cobra Kai is being very efficient with their seasons is really awesome because that means we get more of it and we don't have to wait too long. And by the time we know it, we're gonna be getting an official trailer. We're gonna be getting more promotion. And then all of a sudden season four is gonna be right here. We're gonna be in December and it's gonna be epic. So what are your guys' thoughts on this season four teaser trailer? Are you guys excited? What was your favorite moment from this trailer? I gotta say mine was the Daniel and Miguel training together, but I wanna hear your guys' thoughts. So let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications to never miss a new Cobra Kai Kid video. Hit that like button and share the video with your fellow Cobras and Miyagi-Dos. I'll see you all next time on Cobra Kai Kid. And until then, remember, Cobra Kai never dies. Fasten your gi, tie your belt. Karate is coming to the world's biggest stage, where legends are born. Welcome back to the All-Valley Karate Tournament. The soul of the valley is on the line. Have the members still doing the whole mortal enemy karate dojo battling for the soul of the valley thing?